What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe's Horse Wrestling and for Christmas this year I got a whole bunch of wrestling items. Now one of them things was actually a brand new All Elite Wrestling AEW CM Punk Ringer t-shirt and I've got it right here. I'm just unfolding it. So what I wanted to do today guys was actually give you guys a review of this CM Punk t-shirt as I don't know if it still is but at the time it came out this ringer t-shirt was quite a rare item so if I give you the quick backstory basically these t-shirts went up on sale on Shop AEW and Pro Wrestling Tees when Punk made his return in September and the t-shirt Punk wore I'll give a, a picture here of this t-shirt which CM Punk wears himself is a ringer t-shirt now if you don't know what a ringer t-shirt is it's nice and simple a ringer t-shirt has a black or not necessarily black but a different colored collar and arm sleeves compared to the t-shirt itself so it could be red and blue uh, it's just in this case it is white and black so pro wrestling tees obviously and shop AEW obviously sold the ringer t-shirt this one right here until they didn't anymore because they had sold out because there was an overwhelming amount of sales made on these CM Punk t-shirts. Everyone and their grandma wanted to buy a CM Punk t-shirt when Punk made his wrestling return in September. So, do you know what they did instead of just putting them as out of stock? Do you know what they did? They started printing this logo on plain white t-shirts instead of ringer t-shirts but still listing the item as this t-shirt so an overwhelming amount of fans received the cm punk t-shirt but instead of having a ringer they had a plain white tee so literally a plain white t-shirt imagine the t-shirt i'm wearing right now is white not blue all white with the punk logo now a lot of people this isn't going to bother them at all. But for me personally, with how nitpicky I am with stuff and the fact that I have wanted the original CM Punk t-shirt that this one is based off, see photo here, since I was a kid, I had to get the one Punk was wearing. I wouldn't have in a plain white t-shirt. I saw I waited. I waited and I waited because there was no way I was going to spend all the money Get it here, wait for ages for it to ship from the United States just to be disappointed at a white t-shirt with no ringer. So instead, I waited, 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 and finally Pro Wrestling Tees realized they made a mistake, they apologized for the mistake, and then they listed the item again. But they listed it saying, ringer tees back in stock, order here, whatever it was. I clicked the link and I placed the order months ago and it was given to me for Christmas. So there's the backstory. This is why the ringer t-shirt is, I don't even know if it still is, but this is why a few months back, this was considered a rare item. And that's pretty much the only explanation. It's because pro wrestling tees ran out of stock and started shipping them on plain white t-shirts instead. So without further ado, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to move the camera down and I'm actually going to give you an up close and personal in-depth review of this t-shirt. Let's do it. Okay, so here is my AEW CM Punk t-shirt laying out on my bed. It is in a size large, just for reference. But I have to say, guys, from the moment I saw this, the moment I touched it, it is a much softer T-shirt, a much more comfortable T-shirt than anything WWE Shop put out. Because a lot of people know that although they have improved in the last few years, their T-shirts normally just feel like cardboard, which is a really strange analogy. But if you've got a WWE official T-shirt, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Here we are, we've got the ring up sleeves. Uh, these fit quite nicely on me. Normally, uh, wrestling t-shirts are really, really baggy, but these are actually okay. Uh, the length of it is great for a large, you know, it, it fits perfectly. It's quite like, uh, it's not tight, but it, it hugs at the top and then is like wider at the bottom, which is what you really want with a t-shirt anyway, especially when uh, you're a big guy like me that has just eaten a lot of stuff for Christmas and has a bit of a gut on you right now. Uh, but there we go, the best in the world logo. This is the new remaster. Uh, best in the world logo obviously i'll put up a picture again this is based off the original cm punk t-shirt that punk wore in 2011 when obviously it was the summer of punk it's based off of that one it's just now got two fists with lightning instead of the single fist holding the lightning we down there we got a little all elite wrestling logo and uh yeah that's basically it i'm gonna quickly flip it over uh just to show you there isn't actually anything on the back but i'll show you anyway 
This is the back of the t-shirt. Like I said, there isn't anything on there. It's just plain white. No, uh, no logo on the back, unfortunately. I was hoping maybe it would do the same as what the old one did and have like best in the world uh, written out here. Uh, I know the old one, there was an event shirt um, which said like Chicago and then the date of SummerSlam 2011. They did do this on the t-shirt that was sold at the event Punk Returned, I believe, which did say Chicago and then the date September 2021. I think uh, I might be mistaken, but if I can find a photo of that, I will show you. But anyway, that was the t-shirt. Now let's go and put it on as we do normally when I review my t-shirts. Let's go. So we're back at the desk and normally I wouldn't get that in depth when reviewing a t-shirt, but I thought this was a special occasion. One, because it's a CM Punk t-shirt. Two, because it's my first AEW t-shirt. And three, because not only is it a CM Punk t-shirt, at the time it came out, it was a rare CM Punk t-shirt. So here it is, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna click my fingers and then this t-shirt is just gonna spawn on me. It's like magic. I don't really know how I do it, but in three, two, one, this is the t-shirt on me, as you can see. Like I was saying, normally the sleeves are super baggy on wrestling t-shirts, but if I put my arms up like this, you can see that they sit quite nicely. Normally it's like, they look like this, which no one wants your sleeve to touch your elbow. Your sleeve is meant to just sort of sit on your upper arm, uh, like bicep area. Uh, it's nice around the neck, I've got no complaints. I'm gonna quickly move the chair back and stand up so you guys can see the length. Now guys, this is a size Large, I'm six foot two for reference. Uh, my legs are actually longer than my torso, but I still find a lot of t-shirts don't have the right length for me. So sometimes I go XL and then it's way too big. This is a big large, I have to say. If I do this, you can see uh, it is quite nice. It covers up my belly nicely. If I hold my arms up in the air, you can see that you can sort of see my belly, but it's not a lot. A lot of t-shirts, you know, you hold your arms up like that and they come like right up to about here, which no one wants that. I'll give you a quick 360 view. Here I go, turning around. You can see there's nothing on the back once again, like I mentioned previously. Turn it all the way back around and that is basically it for the CM Punk t-shirt. What do you guys think? Do you guys have this CM Punk t-shirt? Are you watching this review wondering whether or not to buy this CM Punk t-shirt? Because if you are, I say 100% go for it. You have to get the CM Punk t-shirt. If you're watching this and you've got the plain white one, let me know. Does it feel the same? Uh, is it still soft? Is it like, uh, does it have the same label? Uh, I can't really ex yeah, I think I showed a shot of the label maybe momentarily over there, but I'm not going to take the t-shirt off the shirt once again. Is it the same print? I don't know. Have they really cheaped out with the plain white one? And this is the one to go for. I'm interested myself. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have the answer to that question. Anyway, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye!